Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of Family Guy and focusing on the baby genius we all love, Stewie Griffin. Stewie may be a diabolical mastermind with ambitions for world domination, but even he isn't immune to misfortune. Over the years, Family Guy has put Stewie through some truly crazy and unfortunate moments. So we're counting down the 10 worst things that ever happened to Stewie Griffin. Whether you're a fan of his evil plans or his hilarious one-liners, you won't want to miss these moments. Let's jump right in. Starting off at number 10, we have Stewie's failed assassination attempt on his mom, Lois. Stewie's hatred for Lois has been one of his defining traits from the beginning of the show, but his most ambitious plan to eliminate her comes in the two-part episode, Stewie Kills Lois and Lois Kills Stewie. In the first part, Stewie finally succeeds in his lifelong mission and seemingly murders Lois during a family vacation on a cruise ship. But of course, this is Family Guy, so it doesn't take long for the plot to twist. In the second part, Lois miraculously survives and returns to Quahog to confront Stewie, who has taken over the world in her absence. The ultimate showdown between mother and son ends with Lois defeating Stewie and putting an end to his reign of terror. For Stewie, this was a crushing failure. He lost both his chance to rule the world and his battle with Lois, leaving him embarrassed and humiliated. At number 9 is Stewie's time-travelling mistake from the episode where he meets his half-brother, Bertram. Stewie's time machine has led to some of the most memorable episodes in Family Guy, but it's also been the cause of some of his biggest disasters. In this case, Stewie accidentally messes with the timeline while travelling with Brian, which leads to the unexpected creation of Bertram, his long-lost half-brother. Bertram goes on to become one of Stewie's main antagonists, appearing in several episodes to challenge him in battles for power. For Stewie, discovering that his own invention essentially created one of his worst enemies is a bitter pill to swallow. What's worse is that Bertram is just as clever and ambitious as Stewie, making him a constant thorn in his side. This mistake not only altered Stewie's past, but also set him up for future conflicts with a rival he never intended to create. Next up at number 8 is the time Stewie was trapped in daycare for a baby genius like Stewie. The idea of being stuck in a place where he has no control and no ability to manipulate the situation is a nightmare. In this episode, the Griffins drop Stewie off at a daycare center where he is treated like just another infant. The other children at the daycare seem completely brainwashed, happily singing along to children's songs and participating in mind-numbing activities. For someone as intelligent and independent as Stewie, this is nothing short of torture. His attempts to escape are thwarted by the overly cheerful daycare workers and the other oblivious children, leaving Stewie feeling completely helpless. The daycare setting strips Stewie of his usual confidence and power, forcing him to confront the reality that, despite his intellect, he's still just a baby in the eyes of the adults around him. It's one of the few moments where Stewie's vulnerability really shines through. At number 7, we have Stewie's crushing disappointment when he meets his future self. In the episode Stu and Stewie's excellent adventure, Stewie uses his time machine to travel into the future and meet his adult version, hoping to find a glimpse of the brilliant, successful person he is destined to become. Instead, Stewie is horrified to discover that his future self, now going by the name Stu, is a sad, middle-aged man working a dead-end job at a desk, living a completely ordinary and unremarkable life. For Stewie, who has always prided himself on being superior to everyone around him, this revelation is devastating. The idea that all his grand plans for world domination and ultimate success could result in such a dull and disappointing future shakes Stewie to his core. This episode shows a rare moment of existential crisis for Stewie, as he grapples with the possibility that even the most brilliant of minds can end up leading a life of mediocrity. At number 6 is one of the most emotional moments for Stewie, when he loses his beloved teddy bear, Rupert. Rupert has been Stewie's closest companion throughout the entire series, serving as both a confidant and a source of comfort for the baby genius. When Rupert goes missing, Stewie is completely devastated. He embarks on a desperate and emotional quest to find his missing bear, showcasing a vulnerable side of his character that we don't often see. For Stewie, Rupert is more than just a the toy. 
He represents Stewie's only real emotional connection in the world where he often feels misunderstood and isolated. Losing Rupert is like losing a piece of himself, and it leads to one of the few times where we see Stewie break down in true sadness. This moment serves as a reminder that, despite all his evil schemes and sarcastic demeanor, Stewie is still a child with very real feelings of attachment and love. Moving on to number 5, we have the bizarre and uncomfortable episode where Stewie gets pregnant. Yes, you heard that right. In the episode Stewie is on scent, Stewie accidentally impregnates himself after experimenting with his scientific inventions in an attempt to bond with Brian. What follows is one of the weirdest plot lines in Family Guy history as Stewie becomes pregnant with a litter of hybrid children that are part Stewie, part Brian. Watching Stewie go through the physical and emotional toll of pregnancy is both hilarious and disturbing as he experiences everything from morning sickness to labor pains. For someone as controlling and power hungry as Stewie, this experience is a complete nightmare. It's not just the bizarre nature of the situation that makes this one of the worst things that's ever happened to Stewie. It's the fact that he is completely out of control of his own body, which is something he cannot stand. At number 4, we have Stewie's humiliating battle with his older brother Chris. Throughout the series, Stewie has always looked down on Chris, often mocking him for his lack of intelligence and overall awkwardness. But in one particular episode, the tables turn when Chris ends up stealing Stewie's girlfriend, sparking an all-out sibling rivalry. The two brothers engage in a brutal and hilarious brawl, with Stewie going to extreme lengths to try and get back at Chris. However, in the end, Chris comes out on top, leaving Stewie completely humiliated. For Stewie, losing to Chris in any context is bad enough, but losing to him over a girl is an especially bitter defeat. This episode highlights Stewie's insecurities and his inability to handle situations where he's not the one in control. It's one of those moments where Stewie's arrogance comes back to bite him, showing that even the most cunning of characters can fall short when it comes to matters of the heart. On the third place, we have the time Stewie gets trapped in an alternate universe. In the episode Road to the Multiverse, Stewie and Brian use his remote control to travel through various parallel dimensions, each with its own unique quirks and alternate versions of the characters we know. But things take a dark turn when they end up stuck in a dystopian, post-apocalyptic world with no clear way to escape. In this universe, everything is bleak and dangerous, and Stewie finds himself completely out of his element. For a character who is used to controlling every situation and outsmarting everyone around him, being trapped in a world where he has no power or influence is terrifying. It's a rare moment of helplessness for Stewie, and it forces him to rely on Brian more than ever before. The tension in this episode is palpable, as Stewie realizes that even his genius might not be enough to get them out of this one alive. Coming in at number two is one of the most serious and emotional moments in Stewie's life, his near-death experience. In one of the more introspective episodes of Family Guy, Stewie finds himself trapped in a locked room with no food, no water, and no way out. As the hours tick by and Stewie starts to feel the effects of dehydration and hunger, he is forced to confront his own mortality. For a character who is usually so confident and unflinching, this is a moment of true fear and vulnerability. Stewie begins to realize that, despite all his intelligence and planning, he is still just a small child, and death is a very real possibility. The episode takes a surprisingly serious turn as Stewie grapples with the idea of dying alone and forgotten. It's a rare moment where the show allows Stewie's tough exterior to crack, revealing the deep fears and insecurities that lie beneath the surface of his character. And finally, at number one, the absolute worst thing that has ever happened to Stewie is being abandoned by his family. In the episode Quagmire's Baby, the Griffins leave Stewie behind at their house while they go on an adventure, completely forgetting about him in the process. For Stewie, who may act like he despises his family but still depends on them, this is the ultimate betrayal. Being left alone, with no one to take care of him, or even acknowledge his existence, is Stewie's worst nightmare. This episode explores the deep-rooted fear of abandonment that even someone as seemingly independent as Stewie can experience. 
Despite all of his evil plans and sarcastic remarks, Stewie is still a baby at heart and the realization that his family could leave him behind is a devastating blow. It's a moment that truly breaks Stewie's spirit and shows just how much he really does need the people around him. And that wraps up our list of the top 10 worst things that ever happened to Stewie Griffin. What do you think was the most brutal moment? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Family Guy content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.